For Nelitavis and Martin Bornhoeft of the HPA, this project is very close to their hearts. For me, the St. Pauli, For me, the St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel is a unique beauty, very stubborn and difficult to conquer. Man kommt wirklich hier rein und Coming here is like entering another world, it's kind of like a film set. The renovation of the St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel, now in another edition of Port is What We Do. The Eastern Tunnel is complete, now work is underway on the Western Tunnel, and we're the first team of reporters to be allowed in to see how the work is progressing. Eine neue Folge von wir machen. A new episode of Port is What We Do, and today we really are taking you behind the scenes. We're in the western section of the old St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel. It feels a bit like a different planet. Wie auf einem anderen Planeten. Renovation of the eastern section was completed in 2019. So was that experience valuable for the work currently going on in the western tunnel? Wir wissen jetzt, we know a lot about how to do it and could learn a lot from the renovation of the eastern part, the things that went well and others that didn't. To avoid potential pollutants, we have to don protective suits to enter the western tunnel. Nele Tebis gives us our first look. Also, was man jetzt hier sehen kann, what you can see here is that we start by renovating the upper part of the tunnel. And the first thing we've done is to remove all the tiles and the concrete cable channels that were here. The initial demolition work is done using machinery, but after that, they have to do it manually. After all, it's all about the details. Ultimately, you never know what you're going to find. Tiling, steel and wooden elements in the walls, things nobody was expecting. We think they used wooden scaffolding back then, which was then covered with concrete. And anything still showing was just cut off. The special thing about renovating this historic structure is that in part the teams work like their ancestors did. It's definitely one of the major challenges because here we have a structure that means we have to work like the people who built it did, and that makes it unique. In the planning phase, we looked at various ways of doing it using modern methods, but in many aspects, we're doing things like they did 100 years ago. As I said, a lot of love goes into this project, and sometimes it's very personal. My dad was a big-time fan of the Elbe Tunnel, and he used to do guided tours for friends and acquaintances. So I used to walk through this tunnel quite frequently as a child. And that makes it even more interesting to work on the renovation of it. The further we proceed, the darker it gets. We're now entering the part where the roof tiles have already been removed. Now I know what you meant when you said it feels a bit like a mine. At the end of the 426-meter-long tunnel, we can get a good view of the exposed historic steel tubing. You can see it very clearly here. These are screwed connections. And then you have rivets. And as well as renovate it, we inspect all these connections and replace them if we have to. The renovation work is a fascinating journey back in time. It's a witness to history, isn't it? That's right, not just the building of the tunnel, but also the history that it's witnessed. Technically, the work hasn't been slowed by the pandemic. In about roughly two years, we'll go from working on the upper part of the tunnel to the lower section. Then we put in the technical equipment, build a new flight of steps on the St. Pauli side, return the ballast that goes on top of the tunnel on the bed of the Elba, and then the opening. It remains a special project, and our team spirit is special too, because we see it as a symbol of Hamburg. It makes me proud to work here. Art is what we do.